Hello everyone. Today we are going to start chapter one, which is the introduction of the book R for Data Science. So if you go to the website of the book, you can just click the left side one introduction, and that's the chapter one. So um, this is actually a quick introduction of the book, what is going to be covered and what you are not going to learn. So I think this is a quick review of the book. And I like this graph here a lot. So this is basically showing you what you need to do to do data science, like what kind of steps you need to take. And what is the whole process like? So the first step is that you need to import the data into R. And most likely, you are going to have an Excel file prepared, or you are going to have SPSS file. So any kinds of data document you have, you should import that data into R in order to do data analysis using R. And each time after you import the data, it is a good idea to tidy it. Tidy it means make the data clean and ready to use. Like sometimes you may have um, nonsense values. Sometimes you may have missing values. So how should you deal with these things? And also sometimes the data is not in a good format that you can um, just use it for data visualization or modeling. So you also need to tidy it to make it in the right format and so you can use it. And after that, you have a data set well prepared. You want to understand what is happening in the data or what you can um, take out from that data set you have or you prepared. So um, in this understanding data process, it's a loop. Like you're going to transform the data, visualize the data, you do the modeling, and then once you build a model, you may find the conditions are not met. So you may want to transform the data again, you do the visualization again, and then you do the modeling again. Only when you find, okay, the model is very good, and the conditions are well met, and then you're going to use that model, which will lead you to the last step, which is communicate. So you're going to either um, share the results with others, or you are going to write a report on it. So it's like um, the whole process starting from importing the data set, ending with the last step, which is to communicate the results, the findings you have. And in this book, we have actually many chapters around this whole process. So we will, um, we will start with exploring the data. We will then do some data wrangling, including data manipulation and tidying data. And then we will talk about some um, um, how to write a function, how to define vectors, and how to write loops. So which is the program, program section. And then we will touch base with modeling. So you're going to um, learn how to build models, how to interpret models, and so on. And the last step is how to communicate data, which is basically um, how to write a very well organized report with um, paragraphs with R output, um, which can be done using R markdown. And also thinking about what's your background. I don't think you need any background to read through this book or to follow, uh, follow my videos. So um, even though this book somewhere it mentioned 
it's better that you have some R background. Like if you read this prerequisite here, it said um, it's helpful if you have some programming experience already. But um, I want um, if you are open minded, you will be able to learn it without any background knowledge you have. So um, you don't need to read the hands on programming with R beforehand. You can just follow through the videos and then read through the books. So um, the most important thing right now is to install R and R Studio. There is a good instruction here. Um, you need to install R first and then you install R Studio because R Studio is kind of a tool to better use R and it is based on R, the software R. So make sure you install the latest version of R and then you try to download R Studio and install R Studio. And all for all the programmings, all the analysis that you are going to do using this book, it will be on R Studio. And that's about it. So if you want to learn more in detail, um, please read through chapter one. And then my next video will will be leading you through chapter two, which is the introduction of exploring data. Thank you.